Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer and refers to his previous answer. Why did the Treasurer fail to mention another Paul Keating quote from this morning? And I quote, the GST is just a flat, bang you over the head tax. It changes nothing, no behaviour other than to put the tax weight onto the wrong people. The member for McMahon will not use props in questions. I haven't called the trip. The member for McMahon will not use props during questions. The Minister for Immigration will cease interjecting. The Treasurer has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we all remember it was Mr. Keating himself who was the uh, proponent of option C uh, for a, a consumption tax all those years ago. And we do know that he opposed the changes to the, the tax system that were introduced by the Howard Costello government. And I remember that those opposite never changed a jot of them, Mr. Speaker. They never changed a jot of the changes to the tax system that were introduced by the Howard and Costello government. Over all the years, they had to do that, Mr. Speaker. Now, the former Prime Minister and former Treasurer has made some very good points today. He says that higher taxing for higher spending is no way, no way to support jobs and growth and to support growth in this economy, Mr Speaker. He also says that a higher rate of GST should not be used to fuel higher spending. This government has no such plans, Mr Speaker, for that. This government has the no for plans Wakefield, for higher the taxes for, Wakefield for and the higher for spending, Sydney, Mr Speaker. What this government warning. contemplates as part of a broader debate is how can we reduce the burden on Australians who are working and saving and investing because the taxes on their earnings are getting higher and higher. Those opposite offer no thought of empathy or compassion for those who are working more every day and having to pay higher taxes, Mr Speaker. No empathy whatsoever for small businesses who are working harder every day and are getting no relief in the tax system for their eff extra effort. Now, on this side of the House, we know that that's a priority, but you've got to be able to pay for it, Mr Speaker. And these are the decisions that governments have to make. And we are going through a very open process. Member we are King consulting, Smith. Mr Speaker, and we are trying to ensure that we have a growth-friendly tax system, a growth-friendly tax system that supports jobs and that supports growth.